You know, I, I was going to release this 56 second clip that you're about to see in a full video, but you know what? It would have gotten lost. It was a teachable moment, and I want to show it to you as is. Well, what did this moment teach? Taught me that I used to swing too fast. I was looking at my old live streams. Wow. I would just fly around the park like crazy. And I've been getting better stuff. I've been getting more silver. I've been getting deeper coins since I slowed down. But anyway, the video will speak for itself. Let's take a look. We're calling silver. See, if you're swinging like this, nothing, nothing. You see that? Doesn't even pick it up. Watch again. Doesn't even pick it up. Now I'm using the MindLab Equinox 600. I will challenge you with this. You need to find what the ideal swing speed is for each, well, for your detector. I own 16 detectors, okay? And for the most part, the slower swing speed works for all of them. I've had a few anomalies. Uh, the MindLab Safari, for instance, you'll go deeper with a faster swing speed. It was very bizarre. But 90% of the detectors that I own, if you want to go deep, if you really want to lock in on a target, you go slow. You swing fast, forget about depth. Unfortunately, this one is just another wheat set. Could have had a better end result, but you know what? This rule applies. Find your swing speed. Chances are, if I'm going to take an educated guess, it's going to be a slow swing speed uh, if you want to lock in on those deeper targets. So, to sum this up, swing slow, swing low. Thanks for watching.